Yo, what's up? I'm Orlando Brown from Nassau Ray. And you're watching Disney Channel. We'll be right back with Brandy and Mr. Whiskers. He's an athlete. A smooth talker. And Lola, you are looking lovely tonight. Why, if you had a hand, I would kiss it. And a super genius. Oh, I just want to stay home and smell my feet. <sighs> He's Mr. Whiskers. Oh, no! Stop, stop! Too hot. Brandy and Mr. Whiskers, coming up next on Disney Channel. Ay, 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 Brandy and Mr. Whiskers! <laughs> Calculations are correct. The zenith of our apex will culminate in the vertices of variables A, C, and X, Y, Z. Well, now, Mr. Whiskers, I don't pretend to understand all that fancy number calculating, but I must say, that is a lovely drawing of you. Why, thank you, Ed. I think I captured my proud jawline. And I... I'm sorry, Brandy, but Ed and I are on a top-secret mission. It needs to know kind of stuff. Hush, hush on the down low, if you know what I mean. Whatever. And that means that, unfortunately, we can't give you even the merest tints of what we're doing for fear it may jeopardize the entire program. Good for you, Whiskers. <sighs> Don't you want to know what we're doing? Not really. Not even a little? Nope. A smidge? Nuh-uh. Well, why not? Because I've got a mission of my own. Okay, I've been in the jungle a while now, and you know what is sorely missing? Fashion! <laughs> Un? Absolutely, Margo. It's just what this jungle needs. Check this. See how these cargo pants complement this baby tee? Uh, no. Not at all. Okay, but what if I throw in this handbag and these shoes? Fashion plate is yours, right? Girl, we have no idea what you are talking about. I have looked at it from every angle, and I gotta tell you, this plan is foolproof. Yes, sir, it sure is. And I'm just tickled pink to be part of such a momentous undertaking. Next stop, the moon. Sea Captain! Ah! <laughs> Sorry, Brandy, but I just don't think the jungle needs your fan. Whiskers? That's one small step for Rabbit. Ooh. What is he wearing? Ooh. That is to die for. What is? I gotta give me some of that. Mm-hmm. Some of Oh, Wait, you guys don't get fashion. Uh, wrong, Brandy. We get fashion. We don't get your fashion. But Whiskers, he's got it going on. Ugh, yeah, right. As if anyone would ever be seen wearing that. <laughs> The fashion gods just puked. Not uh, Brandy. Am I a trendsetter? No! Absolutely not. No way. This is just a fluke, Whiskers. A terrible, terrible fluke. Yo, Whiskers, do these flowers accentuate my beak? Forget her beak. What about my tail feathers? Well, Whiskers, I... can you suggest a handbag to go with this? The thing is... How about some shoes? Now that's it. Hey, you don't have any feet. You biped mammals with your appendages. I'm so full of yourselves. Mm. Girls, Mr. Whiskers will answer all your questions right after I tell him exactly what to say. Okay, look, tell him these shoes are a must. Don't be caught without denim. And this purse rocks, but not before Labor Day. Got it? Um, okay, I guess. I just one question. Eh, why am I telling everybody what to wear? Because that's the way the fashion world works. You tell them what's cool and they listen. And if they don't, they get socially flushed. Yeah! Hey, Brandy, that sounds... And we added bonus? I already have all this stuff, so I'll be getting my chic on in no time. Now go make fashion history! Keep your eyes! Whiskers, are those the new fall fashions? Why, well, yes. Yes, they are! Would you like to try them? Would I? Keep it! Lose it! Oh my gosh, somebody call the fashion police. Stripes! Are you kidding me? But but but, but I'm a, I, I'm a ringtail Cody. Honey, lose the stripes or lose the tail. Oh, 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 
like it. Well, it's fun being a fashion genius. Yesterday, you didn't even know what fashion was. Oh, I see what's going on here. The has been chaffing because the fashion baton is passed on. I have created a monster. <laughs> Switch the divan with the armoire. Mm, nah, hate it. Put it back. Whiskers, what are you doing? Lifting our home out of the squalor, Brandy. After all, I am the king of all things fashion. By the by, could you kindly remove that stuff from the premises? Your fung is getting in the way of my shoe. Whiskers, these are my best clothes. And my shoes and my hair accessories. Oh, you're a very brave girl for admitting that, Brandy. That is the first step to recovery. There's nothing wrong with these clothes, Whiskers. Well, there's certainly nothing right about them. Do yourself a favor and come to my show tonight. Then you will see what is hot and what is not. So he was totally going crazy. He kept saying, is she a vine or a snake? <laughs> Why are you wearing those stupid beehives on your heads? Don't you know? Ow! It's Whiskers latest. Ow! No! Ow! The Cayman Jaws are. Are you rabid? You're wearing something that bites and stings you just because Whiskers said so? When? Ow! Yeah, but weren't you telling us, ow, what to wear to, ow? Well, kind of, I guess. I'll tell you what, ow, hypocrite. Until you get yourself a hive, we don't want to be seen with you, ow. Maybe I'm the one who's wrong. Maybe Whiskers is a fashion genius. If you can't beat him, join him. Ow! Oh, I don't know. I guess Ow! it isn't too bad. Ow! 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 Hey, Mr. Slot. So, Ow! notice anything Ow! new? The beehive. Don't Ow! you like it? Ow! Well, I gotta wear it because Ow! you know Ow! I don't want to get Ow! socially flushed. Ow! Ugh, I notice you're not wearing a beehive either. No fear of the flush? Come on, Mr. Sloth, I need your help. Just a splash more color, darling. Oh, and one more thing. Then off you go. Next time, if you're going to be late, don't bother coming at all. It's time we bring some common sense jungle. I can't believe you're the person to do it, but there it is. But first we need a distraction. <gasps> Bingo! Yeah! What's going on here? Mr. Whiskers is in desperate need of another fashion model, and he's hoping you will help. Really? He w w wants me, me? Oh yeah! Now get out there and work it! What are you doing here? Uh, I came to help with your f f f f f f fashion show. The only way a fashion faux pas like yourself could ever possibly help a genius like moi is by leaving my stage immediately! <laughs> yes, 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 sir. Yes, sir. And did I tell you to lose the stripes or lose the tail? <laughs> the tail comes off now! is no fashion at all. Wear comfortable clothes or no clothes. Just be yourselves. Ow! Sure looks comfortable without a beehive on his head. Or a caiman on his butt. Ow! Oh, much better. That is such a relief. Wait, 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 wait! I have a solution. Huh? Not bad, not bad at all. Now get off my stage! Yes, yes, yes! I'm standing there for you're on, you're on! Whiskers, you genius, you! Give him a few moments to ooh and ah, and then take the stage to thunderous applause! Thank you! Thank you! Thank you! Where are my adoring fans? They've gone, Whiskers, back to the way they were before all this fashion madness. What a relief. The pressure was really starting to get to me. Well, 
Not everyone can be a fashion diva. Eh, I'll say. Those shoes do not work with that top, sister. Whiskers? Sorry, but facts are facts. By the way, capris are in, but culottes are cool nuts. Now, let's talk accessories. And for my next trick, I am going to jump rope with my very own ears. And my name is Uncle Billy, and I love to eat spaghetti. Okay, that's not selling it. How's about we explore the fascinating world of my belly button? <laughs> Brandy, cheer up, it's a beautiful day! Whoa, the birds whoa, whoa. are singing, the frogs are frogging, the monkeys are ow, throwing things at me again! Beat it, you pesky primates! Why are you so sad anyway? <sighs> My birthday is tomorrow. Oh! What's a birthday? A birthday! You know, comes once a year, cake, candles, lots of presents! Happy songs? Uh-huh. Big fat guy in a red suit! That's Christmas. Oh no! Christmas is coming! Oh, and I haven't made a list yet! Wonder what I should ask Santa for. I know this is hard for you, Whiskers, but try and stay with me. A birthday, specifically my birthday, is the annual celebration of my birth. Oh, so that's the reason you're sad. Another whole year older, and one year closer to the big dirt nap. Okay, that whole getting older thing wasn't bothering me until just now. I'm sad, Whiskers, because this is my first birthday without my family. Whiskers, where's the picture of my family? Ugh, whatever. We used to have best parties, we'd have cake and presents and play pin the tail on the cat. I got an idea! We could have a party for you! Nah, don't want to be a bother. No, really. It's too much work. It'll be fun! Oh, fine. What's this? Plans for my party. Guest list, menu selections, entertainment, and some gift suggestions. The numbers beside the item, that means I want to. Oh, and the most important thing, it should be a surprise. And Brandy says it's a surprise. But Mr. Whiskers, she knows. I know she knows. Don't get technical. Just pass it on, okay? All righty. You're the boss. Thank you. Somebody is throwing Brandy a birthday party? How thoughtful! Ooh, and it's a surprise! Hey, wait a minute, I'm the one throwing the party! You're just throwing things again! Ow! Hey! Okay, now that word has gotten around about Brandy's supremely cool birthday party, I must warn you we can only have 300 guests. First come, first serve. So get those RSVPs in ASAP. That's right. RSVP, ASAP. They'll be clowns. Okay, which one do you like? <gasps> A surprise party for me? Or... I don't know what to say! Personally, I'd go with the crying, because I have some bad news. If it's about the souffle, I can live with Meringue. Well, it turns out nobody wants to come. They don't want to come to a party? Oh, they'd love to go to a party! Just not one for you. Well, why not? Well, let's see, shall we? 53% said... You're not nice. 75% said... What has she ever done for me? And 48% think if Brussels sprouts had a chocolate liquid center, they'd eat them. Everybody thinks I'm mean? There's some good news. Yeah? Nearly 80% would come. Yes, yes? If it were your funeral. What do those stupid lice magnets know about how nice a person I am anyway? Hi, I'm Brandy, and I'm here to talk about a very serious subject. Being mean. Although I sometimes play a mean person in the show, I am not. And I certainly do not condone such behavior. You call that a close-up, you dumb, throwing marsupial? All right, okay. I'll just have to show them how kind and thoughtful I really am. <laughs> I, um, oh, you were serious? Zip it, Fuzzy. I need to think of something that will demonstrate my niceness. Look, Brandy, wouldn't it just be easy 
here to forget about the birthday party? I mean, I've never even had a birthday. Whiskers, everyone has a birthday. Not me. You were born, weren't you? Was I? Are you sure? Of course you were. You're here, aren't you? True. But what is existence anyway? I mean, could I be here and not actually exist? And if I do exist, where do I come from? <gasps> Wait, you don't know when your birthday is, right? I'm still not convinced I have one. So it could be like tomorrow, right? Okay. And I'm guessing you've never had a birthday party, huh? Not unless you count the time I was mistaken for a piñata. <laughs> Whiskers, it's perfect! I'll throw you a birthday party. That way I get the party I wanted in the first place and everyone will think I'm super nice! Gosh, I can't tell you how moved and or confused I am. <laughs> Wanna help me throw a surprise birthday party for Whiskers? Since when do you give a top pierce honey about him? You know, I don't know who started all of this, but hello! I am a caring, decent, thoughtful person. Mm, scoff if you want, but you'll see when I throw Whiskers the best birthday party this jungle has ever seen. I just think it is so sweet what you're doing for Whiskers. No big deal. Just a simple gesture for someone I love. You know, it's as easy to be nice as not. That's a donkey, not a rabbit! Get out of my sight, you hat! I just think it's basic nature. Everyone wants to be appreciated. You must be joking. This papaya is so hard, it could cut through diamonds! And believe me, I should know. My philosophy? Niceness is contagious. Spread a little and soon we all have it. Ah! Um, are you like the biggest loser on Earth? No! <laughs> Okay, what's the master at work? A poodle! Give me a break. Okay, is it possible to work even slower? You know, I haven't really given that much thought, but I reckon it just might be possible. I was totally being sarcastic. Oh, well, it shames me to admit it, Miss Brandy, but I don't traffic in sarcasm too much, so I don't really tend to recognize it when it is out there. If you could give me a heads up, like, hey, sarcastic comment coming, just let me know and then I'll, I'll have my eyes open. I mean, come on, a sarcastic otter? That, that would be unnatural. I am trying to do something nice for someone and this is how I get treated? Little problem. If it's the dolphins again, the manatees are waiting to take their spot. It's you? What do you mean? You know how 53% of respondents didn't like you? Uh-huh. It's now up to 80%, baby. Okay, that's it. This being nice thing is so not worth the effort. I'm gonna get whiskers, and when I get back, I expect this party to be ready. She's right. It's not worth it. Let's bail. Get dressed. Oh no, am I naked again? No pellets for brains. We're going to the watering hole, so put on something nice. Oh, I just want to stay home and smell my feet. <sighs> what a whiff. Gag, no. Everyone's waiting, and I went to a lot of trouble to show how nice I am. Trouble doing what? Your surprise party, remember? Don't want to nitpick, but it's not much of a surprise now, is it? Get dressed, or I'm tossing you in the nearest volcano! I can't believe how nice you are. Okay, remember to act surprised. Have this. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. Here it is. Ready? Wow, this is a surprise. I was kind of expecting a little more to happen, quite frankly. Uh, there's nobody here. You know, if this is what a birthday party is like, I really cannot see what you were missing. <laughs> Why are you crying? No one's here because of me. They all left because they think I'm mean. No, you're not mean. You threw me a party. How mean could that be? I threw the party for me! I just used your birthday as an excuse! The truth is, I'm a spoiled, materialistic, narcissistic... You can stop me at any time, you know. I'm waiting for self-obsessed. Self-obsessed brat. Hey, Brandy, you are nice. They just don't know all the things you do, like how you help the poor and, and give blood every month and rush to the aid of typhoon victims. I don't do any of that. Really? Guess they're right then, huh? Anyway, here, I need your gift. A gift? Well, for what? Your birthday, remember? I know it's not as nice as the presents you got from your family, but... Oh, Whiskers, it's beautiful! 
You know, you also gave me another gift today. I did? You showed me that being nice has its own rewards. That doing something for someone else can make you feel good. Excuse me just for one moment, won't you? <laughs> Little too much, huh? Happy birthday, Whiskers. Happy birthday, Brandy. Happy birthday! What? What? <laughs> Surprised? Yeah, what happened? Well, for some reason, 75% believe that syrupy dribble you just said. And besides, 100% of us in the jungle like to party! And my name is Uncle Betty, and I love to eat spaghetti! My, my name, name is Uncle Betty, and I love to eat spaghetti! My, my name, name is Uncle Betty, and I love to eat on an all-new Hannah Montana, a friendly competition. Good luck. They're up to something. We just have to watch our backs. It's about to become war. I refuse to let them get the better of us. Hannah Montana, new episode tonight at 7.30, 6.30 Central on Disney Channel. Think you can connect Kyle Massey to Ashley Tisdale? Check it out. Kyle plays number 88 on American Dragon. Where Amy Bruckner plays Jake's sis, Haley Long. And Amy's guest star on Phil was Jason Earls, who's on Hannah Montana with Mitchell Musso, where Ashley is guest starred, which connects Ashley back to Kyle, who's totally connected in his new series, Cory in the House. Connect with Kyle Massey in the premiere of our newest original series, Cory in the House, coming in January to Disney Channel. Jake's back. Come on, y'all. Bring it. Back with bigger hits. Go. Oh. Bigger misses. Okay. And shorter pants. They put the hip in hip hop. Catch American Dragon Jake Long. Weekdays at 3, 2 Central on Disney Channel. What's up? We're the Cheetah Girls. And we're here to give you some cheetah tip. Hey, cheetahs, I'm Trevor. What are the fashions like in Cheetah Girls 2? Um, my character, Chanel, stays loud with her colors. Yell now? Aqua is a little bit more conservative than any of the other girls. And that's how I like it about her, because she's a little bit of a geek, a mix of a little, you know, southern spice. Perfecto. I have a lot of bracelets that come all the way up to my arms. Very 50s skirts, high-waisted. It's flirty. Um, I think Dorinda's getting a little bit more girly. She's got lots of bright colors, lots of fun belts, jewelry. Cool, cool. Hi, cheetahs. I'm Michaela. Do you guys have any fashion tips? Accessorize. Just take stuff and morph it into your own. What it's about is being you and no one else. The Cheetah Girls 2 Cheetalicious Edition DVD comes with bonus features like more cheetah tips and the music video Dance With Me, performed by Drew Seeley featuring Belinda. Coming soon to Disney DVD. Cheetah! That's the Chatta from the Cheetah Girls. Weekdays on Toon Disney, we're cranking up the volume. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And bringing you our biggest morning lineup yet. <laughs> Starting at 10, it's The Legend of Tarzan, House of Mouse, and Lilo and Stitch the Series. Then from 12 to 4, the party really gets pumping with our Mega Movie Jam. Every weekday, it's a different blockbuster movie, followed by a Mega Jam of one of your favorite shows. Brandy and Mr. Whiskers, Recess, The Proud Family, The Emperor's New School, and a surprise jam every Friday. So party with us every weekday on Toon Disney. Yay! Cherry Colas were cool. Jitterbug was hot. And the chance to dance is Molly's dream. And the lead will be danced by one of you as Miss Victory. The competition's fierce. Seven, eight, Charleston, step. Miss Victory would have to be the best dancer in the class. The stakes are high. I want so much to be Miss Victory. For a girl who's just got to dance. Molly, an American Girl on the Home Front, premieres tonight at 8, 7 Central on Disney Channel. Next on Disney Channel. Prepare yourself for Dark Lord Chuckles, the silly piggy. Wait a minute, he's a piggy? Hey, cut it out! But he's a piggy. Cut it out! Cut it out! Cut it out! Cut it out! I'm the master of evil. The master of evil. I can't help it if I have an adorably curly tail. Chuckles, the silly. <laughs> Piggy. Curse you! Ah! Look for him in Dave the Barbarian, coming up next on Disney Channel. I shall have my revenge! Oh.
We'll be back with more of Dave the Barbarian. Tonight. My dad took all the batteries out of our future gadgets. When Phil can't use his gadgets for Keely's birthday, he discovers giving her a good gift. Here it is. It's not a piece of cake. I think so. An all-new Phil of the Future, tonight at 6 5 Central on Disney Channel. You need to be active to stay healthy. But you don't have to be a professional athlete. Skate, dance. Whatever gets you moving, make your move. And now, Disney Channel Sports Dreams. When you follow your dreams, they can really come true. Hi, my name is Nicholas, and my favorite sport is basketball. We came from the country of Chile in South America. My dad came to America five years ago, and then two years later, we came. Me, my sister, my brother, my mom traveled here. My sister Suli, she's 11. We're paternal twins. Yes, we're twins. Nicholas and Suli have been coming to the club for about a year now. Suli immediately jumped into everything possible. Nicholas was a little bit shyer and more reserved until he joined the basketball program. And then things just really took off from there. Suli's a good basketball player herself. She plays on the girls' team. It's a close relationship, but it's very competitive. The relationship between Nicholas and Suli is great. Sometimes she does moves that I don't know, and she teaches them to me. I don't think so. He was the one that taught me, and maybe if he learned something, but he doesn't tell me about it, he gives it to himself. It's fun because we don't really go hard on ourselves. We just play around. He just tells me that I'm a good sister, and that I'm a good player too, that I just have to keep working hard to get better at it. It's just a really neat family. I really love the close relationship that he and Suli have. Oh, my mom comes almost to all my games. And my dad just helped me shoot and do all the drills. I would like to help them become professional players. If we have the resources. He comes out here every day and he plays basketball. Every time he comes in the gym, he's working to get better. I learned that teamwork is really good. It's like a family. Everybody treats you like if you were part of their family. We are Kids like you try their best every day on Disney Channel. You're like trying to get the best out of yourself. It makes me feel like anything could happen if I want to try to do it. Disney Channel. Follow your dreams. You'll never meet another girl like her. Please. Get the buzz on Maggie. No. Saturdays at 5, 4 Central on Disney Channel. Tonight, a TV crew comes to remodel Raven's room. It's time to hook up my face! But can Raven and Chelsea make the new look stick? Oh, snap! Catching all new That's So Raven. Tonight at 7.36.30 Central on Disney Channel. Monday on Disney Channel. What happens when a magical spell transforms a high-fashion doll into a full-blown problem? I'm Eve, and you're my special friend. This is a disaster. I'm broken! Supermodel Tyra Banks and Lindsay Lohan star in Life Size. Why do I feel like I'm in a bad horror movie? Monday at 8, 7 central on Disney Channel. Back with more of Dave the Barbarian. And so it comes to pass that Dave the Barbarian does approach the wisest in all the kingdom with a grave and ponderous question. What rhymes with cannoli? If I'm so wise, how come I'm working for a bonehead like you? Come on, help me out. I'm trying to finish my new musical, Oh Pastry. It's the touching story of one man's love for baked goods. There are words to describe how stupid that is. But if I said them, I'd get bleeped. Please, Uncle Oswidge, don't make me sign any more papers. But a princess has to. I don't want to be some dumb ruler who makes dumb laws. I just want to hang out with my dumb friends. Candy, Mom and Dad said you have to rule Udragoth. I know it's hard, but it's your responsibility. Easy for you to say. They didn't leave you with this dumb job. 
No, but if they had, I would bear the burden with grace, dignity, and style. Also, I'd redo the throne room in a Polynesian motif. Fine! <laughs> ha! Had hair! <clears throat> You'll be ruler for a few days. I'm gonna go hang out with my friends. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Bad time for a vacation. I hear Chuckles the Silly Piggy is planning to invade. It's just a rumor. Not really. He sent a letter. Dear Kingdom of Udragoth, I will be invading soon. Love, the Dark Lord Chuckles the Silly Piggy. P.S. I hope you enjoy the fruitcake. He sent a fruitcake? The fiend! Well, it's King Dave's problem now. I'm the king! Not quite. It ain't official until you sit on the enchanted throne. Now it's gonna keep doing that all day! Ooh, comfy. State your name! Ah, Dave! All hail the mighty ruler! His word is law! Please keep your hands and feet inside the throne room at all times. Now you're the king. At least until somebody else sits on the throne. So now I can make laws. I'll make the best laws ever, and everyone will love me! Yes, love me! <coughs> king Dave hereby proclaims, effective immediately, the establishment of Casual Dress Friday! Oh, wow, that is so much better. Next Friday, I'm gonna wear sneakers. You see? They love me! This is great! Yeah, I thought I'd never get a chance to wear this shirt. Mm, that law is gonna be hard to top. What next? What next? Oh, I know! <laughs> <clears throat> Henceforth, every Saturday will be Udragoth Spirit Day. All subjects will wear the kingdom's official colors. Red, a slightly darker red, and another red. A lot like the first one, but more sort of salmon-y. Did you get all that? And four. I'll do it myself. And another red, a lot like the first one, but more sort of salmon -y. So proclaims King Dave! Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. Happy Udragad Spirit Day! Hey, do you think all this red makes me too easy a target for attackers? A little. Udragad. I hate your brother's stupid spirit day law. Red is so not my color. It makes me look slain. I don't care what stupid laws he makes as long as he's the one making them. Hey, are, are you gonna eat your entrails? This is great! I can do anything I want and make everybody happy. Anything! <coughs> now, what oh, other brilliant please. laws can I pass? Oh. Uh -huh. You know what's always bugged me? I'm allergic to cat fur. And I bet a lot of other people are too, huh? So, what can you do about that? And therefore, all subjects must immediately shave their cats! So proclaims King Dave! It was going okay until I started shaving his belly. Yeah, they look pretty cute till they get mad, huh? Dave! Make it quick, I'm working on my musical! You gotta stop passing all these stupid laws! Everybody's really mad at you! Especially the cats. It says meow. And they mean it. But I wanted them to love me. Now they've turned against their great and wonderful king. I'll show them. Heads will roll. Excruciating punishments will be enacted. Wedgies will be given. No. A good king battles an unruly populace with acts of kindness. I'll win them over by providing... <laughs> A little culture. I'll make a law requiring everyone in Udragoth to attend the opening of my new musical, Oh, Pastry! I think most people would rather have the excruciating punishments. Silence! Oh, the king wrote a musical. That's got to be a complete... work of genius. Every subject must attend, but if we go, the kingdom will be unguarded against invaders. Nope. See, it says all invaders must attend as well. Wow, the king thinks of everything. But meanwhile, outside Udragoth, the Dark Lord chuckles the silly piggy sees his chance. <laughs> it's showtime! Oh! Ah. With all the suffering in the world That makes us feel sad or irate one thing still fills us all with joy and starchy carbohydrates. 
pastry. Why the heck are you so tasty? With sugariness, you graced me. Oh, pastry, you're sweet and gooey, soft and chewy. You're so great, you drive me screwy. Pastry, pastry, pastry. Chair, now make me king, or I'll reupholster you in a really ugly plaid. All hail the mighty ruler! That guy Lord chuckles that silly piggy! His or her word is law. <laughs> what, his or her? What, you can't tell? Alas, poor Danish, what is thy filling? Well, who knows better than the Danish prince? You're filled with cheese and sugar, cheese and sugar. With the texture of a booger. <laughs> I, the Dark Lord, chuckles the silly piggy, am seated upon the throne of Udragoth. I am your king now. <laughs> and my first law is no musical theater. We have to stop him. Yeah, let's go. So far, I like the pig's laws better than Dave's. Fools, <laughs> you cannot defeat me. I am a <laughs> you can't stop me! As the true king of Utrecht, I order you to stop being mean! Jabbers! Actually, Chuckles, it, it seems like you're doing a, a pretty good job. Yay! With the combined power of the throne and the mystic amulet of Hog Swanbor, I am invincible! Behold! do not belong in jars in delis. They belong on pig's ankles! You call that a law? It beats shaving cats. Oh, man. Even the bad guy's laws aren't as bad as mine. I wanted to make all my subjects happy, and instead they all hate me. Oh, don't beat yourself up, Dave. Thanks, Fang. Let me do it! <laughs> all right, pig boy. I'm here to put an end to your badness. One little girl, I'm so scared. Not just one little girl. All of Utrecht! We will defend to the death he who brought us casual dress Friday. Even if he did make us watch that awful play! You know, you don't have to yell like that when you're not making proclamations. Yell like what? They do love me! Yay! Utrecht-ians, charge! <laughs> so, did you like the fruitcake? <laughs> so, Piggy, any last words before we banish you? Mm -hmm. I'd just like to say that... <laughs> Loyal subjects, I want to thank you for standing by me even though I went a little wacky with the laws there. Since my musical was interrupted, I'd like to perform the closing number for you. Pastry, pastry. <laughs> that seemed a little harsh. <laughs> wow! That was your lucky. History, there have been many great barbarian heroes. Kronkaz the Smasher. <laughs> Morton the Ridiculer. <laughs> hey, Pizza Face! <laughs> Shibor, the stumper on things until they're squished into mushy paste. Are you paste yet? Not quite. <laughs> 
these mighty heroes have been honored in the most ancient and venerable of all art forms. One pack of famous barbarian trading cards, please. Or I'll crush you like a grape! That'll be three drinkles. But I'll give you a drinkle off for not crushing me. Thanks, Mrs. Bogmelon. Gronk has a smasher. Junk. Mort had the ridiculer. Junk. She bore the blah, blah, blah. Junk. Strong the Slayer. Yes! Now, I've got Strong's trading card, an action figure, a poster, a lunchbox, a board game, complete table setting, and snow globe. His official biography, his unofficial biography, his officially unofficial biography, and his new and improved super deluxe monkey warmer. Is it hot in here, or is it me? Hands off the monkey warmer, man! But I want to touch the monkey. <laughs> hey, now you can get Strom's autograph, too. What? He's coming to town today. Yeah, right. Like I wouldn't have heard about him. Uh... Monsters and villains, you all better fear, because Big Strom the Slayer is finally here. Take it, Mona. There's no point in running, you better not flee. You got less of a chance than a fish in a tree. Get back, strong slayer's here. Look out, strong slayer! Here! Yay, yay, yay! Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, I bet he'd sign that trading card if you get down there. Soon. Ah, here to slay the dragon. How are you? Ah, here to slay the dragon. How are you? Ah, here to slay the dragon. How you doing? Thus, Fang at last has the opportunity to meet the hero who has inspired her over the years. An opportunity she completely and utterly... Ah, here to slay the dragon. Blows. Ah, here to slay the dragon. How... Uh, Strom, nobody here's heard of a dragon. What? I'm here to slay the dragon, people! You know, big scaly monster, fangs, wings... Been terrorizing you for years? Do we have one of those? We got a giant troll. Why don't you slay him? Excuse me. Oh, can I get past? Pardon me. Pardon, uh, excuse me. Ah! Oh, sorry, my bad. This is the Slay the Dragon Tour. Not doing trolls this year. Maybe next year. The point is, I need a dragon to slay. Doesn't Dave have a pet dragon? Is it a gigantic vicious beast? Hey, it's more of a dumb little fine potato or something. Close enough. I shall slay it by the setting sun. Now, who wants a t-shirt? They're absolutely free. Plus a small service charge of 50 drekels. Oh, yeah. Can I get two? Can I get two? I don't believe it. That Strom wants to slay Faffy? That he can give away t-shirts for free. It's not cost effective. The thing is, Faffy, uh, this Strom guy is huge and mighty and stuff, and he wants to, you know, slay you. Ooh. But don't panic. We're gonna help. Right, Fang? And so, our heroes set out to save Faffy. Dave's plan is to teach Faffy the art of disguise. You're gonna have to give up this breathing nonsense. Candy's plan is to teach him the ancient martial art of Taekwondo. It's not as good for fighting as Taekwondo, but it's great for firming the buttocks. Begin. Oswich's plan is to use magic. Sadly, it is his magic. So Strom wants a big dragon, huh? I'll give him a big dragon. Akwudrak! Blog Pearsonel! Flockin' Gickin! I did not need to see that. Even Fang tries to help protect the poor dragon from her famous barbarian hero. Strom the Slayer has slain griffins and basilisks and manticores. He's slain so much stuff it's amazing anything's still alive. He is exactly what I want to be when I grow up. And I am not going to have my hero come to my house and see what a wimp my dragon is. So hide! Fang's suggestion is, of course, the most sensible one. And where better to hide than in plain sight? Doing okay up there, Faf? <laughs> I'm gonna take that as a yes. Uh... Strong's here! I need my trading card. I'm gonna get his autograph for sure this time. 
Okay. Ready? Oh, there's eight or ten girls back home, and then maybe 20 or 30 on the road. So, you're saying you're single? Mr. The Slayer! Please, call me Strum. Uh, your book seems to be smoking. <laughs> yes, yes. It's a filthy habit, but I can't get it to stop. I understand you've come to slay the dragon. Yes! I'm afraid I've already slain him. Oh, darn the luck. M -m 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 Mr. Strong? Pathetic little specimen, isn't it? Who are you calling pathetic? <laughs> I meant the dragon, not you, little, uh, little, uh, human? He guessed my species. <coughs> are you positive he's slain? Completely, I mean. I've never seen a less slain dragon in all my life. But that's easily taken care of. Ooh, the legendary golden triax! And here comes his famous battle cry. Valim Vali! Okay, the battle cry isn't all that great, but the axe is cool! Stop! I beg your pardon? My hero, who's never been defeated in battle, and who's for sure gonna chop him up into little pieces. Eep! No one stops Strom the Slayer from slaying! But, but Faffy's a pet dragon. Fine. I'll slay you, then your dragon. Valim Vali! Now, draw your sword, villain. Don't worry, you can take this guy. Really? Of course not. Don't be stupid. Valim Vali! Ah! Can we discuss this? Ah! We're both reasonable people. Ah! I'm highly allergic to being chopped up. Ah! What's going on? Uh, the usual. Someone's trying to off Dave. <laughs> I'll put a stop to that. Clem Rush! Do you have any idea what this is going to cost me in shoes? Could we move to another part of the castle? I'm running out of things to hide behind. Valim Valim! Oh, yeah? And what if I do, huh? What are you gonna do? You gonna stop me? Huh? Huh? Touch, 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 touch. This at last is too much. Not even one's hero can be allowed to sully one's prized possession. That does it! Let's see. Height, weight, favorite color, turn offs. Ah! Weaknesses! Touch. Touch. Aren't you gonna slay me anymore? Obviously, you've never touched a monkey. It's kind of addicting. All right, Strom. I challenge you to battle! You? <laughs> but you're just a little... person? I may be little, but I'm not as little as... your furry friend! <gasps> Mr. Squidgy! Surrender or the bunny gets it! No, no, no! No, don't hurt Mr. Squidgy! Promise not to touch my monkey warmer? Promise! Or slay Dave or Fat! Promise! Just give me back my bestest little pal. <laughs> Mr. Squidgy, are you okay? Are you okay, Z-Wazy? Having lost all respect for her lifelong hero, Fang is finally able to ask... Can I have your autograph? Fang, your resourcefulness is impressive for one so small. Fare thee well, warriors of Udragoth. Fare thee well! <laughs> And thus did Fang learn that even the greatest hero can be a... Weenie. Hiya! Hiya! Dave, I just found out Strong made the man a new trading card in the famous Barbarians collection. Maybe it's me. It could be me. Do you think it's me? Kronk has a smasher. Junk. Mort has a ridiculer. Junk. Strong the Slayer. Junk. Aha! It's... It's... You! Dave, the hider behind things? Oh, that's not a flattering picture at all. You got nothing to complain about. I'm Ashley Tisdale, and you're watching Disney Channel. Alex, something's wrong. Prepare yourself. Your mother wants to see you, now. Enemies will seek revenge. You two are the only ones that can stop him. We need your help. Darkness will return. He's got one purpose, to destroy the two of you. I think we're safe. 
And even the closest friends can't be trusted. Alex, wait. Why don't you let me walk you home? Now. You can't just sit back and do nothing. You have to act. Twin witches must work together before everything is torn apart. I can't do this without you. Twitches. Twitches. Tamara and Tia Mori star in an all-new Disney Channel original movie. Power of the Sun and the Force of the Moon. Twitches 2, coming in October to Disney Channel. Danimals is proud to sponsor Disney Channel, where kids are empowered to be their best every day. Mission accomplished! Yay! Check out this special message from the stars of High School Musical 2. Hey, I'm Vanessa Hudgens. And I'm Zac Efron. When you watch High School Musical 2, you get romance, drama, comedy. Even some sports. <laughs> and you know you can experience all these things in books. Reading is a great way to uncover dark mysteries. Discover true love. Launch your imagination in this space. <laughs> so, where will reading take you? Grab a book and find out. Brought to you by Disney Channel. Next, it's Maggie and all her friends. The buzz is, she's coming in for a landing on Disney Channel. Okay, the student council will now entertain theme ideas for the upcoming spring dance. Yes! Uh, who's first? <clears throat> I'm Bernice, and my fee for the dance is libraries, a celebration of the Dewey Decimal System. Uh, we can all read passages from our favorite books and be really, really quiet. Oh, my bug. How boring is that? Uh, great job, Bernice. I <laughs> uh, love the energy. Uh, next? This year's dance theme should definitely be rashes of various kinds. <laughs> we could put red dots all over and do a new dance I invented. Behold, the itchy. <laughs> and there it goes. My appetite. Oh, my bug. Can you believe her? I know. Is she fabulous or what? But of course. What do you expect from Lacey Ladybug? Can you believe she actually lived in Beverly Gardens? 90210, baby. I mean, can you believe what a jerk she is? Oh, uh, well, that too. Next. Attention, student body. Hold on to your antennae because I am about to turn what was once merely a dance into a celebration of flyhood. Picture, if you dare, the mystifying aquatic acrobatics of Cirque du Soufflé. <laughs> we'll dance on the ceiling and barf on the rottenest food you've ever tasted. And then you'll flap your wings and buzz your little hearts out to the zip hop stylings of J. Buzzy! Put your wings in the air, put your wings in the air. I'll slide into his eyes. Not just a magical night, not merely an unforgettable celebration of flyhood, but a fantastical fly extravaganza experience! <laughs> so, what do you say? <sighs> that is so yesterday. I need all four hands to count all the fantastical fly extravaganzas we had in Beverly Gardens. I didn't even think there were flies in Beverly Gardens. Oh, sweet little simple Maggie. In Beverly Gardens, we have everything. Everything? <laughs> So, what kind of cool hip dances do you throw in Beverly Gardens? Oh, we didn't do dances anymore. <gasps> oh. We only do dance slash banquets. We've never had a dance slash anything. What are they like? I can't really say. Oh. But if you put me in charge of your dance, I'll show you. Yay! All those in favor of Lazy Ladybug planning the school dance, say aye. Aye! Yay! Ay, ay, ay. <clears throat> Welcome to the first meeting of the DOC. <laughs> the Dance Organizing Committee. <laughs> I look forward to hearing all of your great ideas. I won't take any of them, but I will pretend to listen and nod at the appropriate times. Oh, that's, 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 that's What are you doing here? 
I thought you were mad your theme didn't win. Don't be silly. It's not important whose theme it is. It's just important that it's a great dance. Yeah, right. Let's trash this clam bake. No, Maggie. We shall help so a good time can be had by all. Hey, get rid of those loser friends of yours already. Losers? Why, I have a good mind to... Show of hands, how many of you have ever attended a banquet? Uh, clarification, a non lamo banquet. That's what I thought. Fortunately for you, you have me. After all, I was head cheerleader at Beverly Gardens High. I don't believe this girl. I know, head cheerleader. How did we get so lucky? What I meant was... Shh, 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 shh. Talking, Miss Rude. Okay, first, let's discuss attire. And by discuss, I mean, listen to me. The dress will be formal, black spot mandatory. Now, about your wings. We can't have them sticking out like a 747, can we? So I took the liberty of having these made. They create the impression that you actually have wings that tuck under tastefully, like so. That's ridiculous. Ridiculously cool. Okay, we're having a serious communication problem. Here, try this on, sweetie. It'll completely make you over. <laughs> oh, my goodness! I am beautiful. I've fallen and I can't get up. I see you started without me. Oh, hi, Lisey. Just thought I'd help you out with the food for the banquet. If there's one thing we flies know, it's rotten food. If it's moldy and brown, it's going down. What? Rotten food at my banquet? Why don't you ruin the entire evening and hire the stink bug band while you're at it? You know, despite our name, we're very good. In Beverly Gardens, we serve only the freshest food. <laughs> you say that like it's the law or something. Uh, actually, it is, and I should know. My father was mayor, which makes me like Beverly Gardens royalty. You see that? Right on cue. Ruined the entire evening. Psh, the nerve! This girl's unbelievable. Who carries a crown wherever they go? Am I right? Huh? What? Or give us your majesty. I did. A little baby's breath here and there and here. Okay, bring in the tulip. Maggie, don't let your end drag, okay? <laughs> Now listen, a few little reminders about tomorrow. Remember, no buzzing when you fly. Oh, dude, what does she mean to do that? Uh, hello, we can't fly without buzzing. Then walk, I don't care. And lastly, when dinner is served, there will be absolutely no barfing. <gasps> but, uh, uh, no barfing? But that's how we digest our food. We're flies, it's totally natural. It's totally disgusting. What's the point in having a banquet if we can't eat? Am I right? Who's with me? So, what's it gonna be? Do you want to eat, or do you want to be cool? Be cool! Be cool! I think you're in a bit over your head, Maggie Fosky. You have no idea who you're dealing with. I guess I don't, but I intend to find out. Your motives are quite questionable, and I for one... Why doesn't anybody ever listen to me? You know, we have doors. Who's having the coolest time ever? Oh, yeah, this is it's great. great. Wow, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> That's great. Listen, I'd like to take a moment to thank the organizing committee for following my every request and fulfilling my every whim. You guys couldn't have done it without me. 
Twisted Ladybug, you are a fraud. <laughs> You've put everyone under some kind of spell by pretending to be some bug you're not. I dug up some pretty interesting trash on you, Lacey. She told you she was head cheerleader at Beverly Gardens. The truth is, she never even made the squad. She told you her dad used to be mayor. He was never mayor of Beverly Gardens, but he was mayor of Fat Patty at Fat Patty Burgers and Fries. Oh. Lies, lies, I tell you. She's just trying to take your coolness from you. Your sweet, precious lady buggy coolness. Coolness? Coolness? Oh, come on, people. You know what I see? I see a group of flies being forced to act like something they're not. Where flies, flies buzz, flies fly. Flies have wings that stick out like southern 47s. And yes, Lacey, flies barf. That's right, we barf. And I don't know about the rest of you, but I see a world where flies can't barf at dance slash banquets is not a world I want to be a part of. I am a fly. I am a fly. is, Lacey, that you've been making yourself out to be better than the rest of us, but you're not. Oh, get real. You're all total pathetic losers. And you're the bogus cheerleader from Beverly Gardens, so you should know. <laughs> wow, Maggie. I, I can't believe I got so taken in by her. I'm so sorry. Glad to have you back, my friend. With your big speech and your yada yada. It's like you got to do your celebration of flyhood after all. Huh? Yeah. How about that? I am so very proud of you, Maggie. We did my idea. We did my idea. Mm. Okay, a little less proud now. Hey, where's your buddy? You know, I really like your style, kid. Hannah definitely has the best of both worlds. And a cool dad. Hannah Montana is next on Disney Channel. Wendy Wu has everything, except for a passing grade in history. That is so lame. Now she's taking on the ultimate test, saving the world. Evil is here. Ooh, scary. Can this princess become a kung fu queen? This could be fun. It's time to show everyone what the Wu can do. Now it's my turn. The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody's Brenda Song stars in the Disney Channel original movie, Wendy Wu, Homecoming Warrior, tomorrow at 8, 7 central on Disney Channel. Tim's cousin Larry. What's the sitch? <laughs> Isn't that what you say? It's in terrible danger. This is the best birthday ever. Kim Possible. New episode Saturday at 8, 7 central on Disney Channel. No wizards were harmed in the making of this promo. Meet the Wizards of Waverly Place. First, there's Alex. How do I look? Why? Because I'm going to duplicate myself. And if I look ugly, I don't want to look twice as ugly. Her older brother, <laughs> Justin. I'm just the guy with the talking zit on my forehead. I'm right here. Your zit just talked to me. And her younger brother, Max. Yeah! Oh, you know you're not supposed to use magic unsupervised. Can I go again? They're three wizards in training. With wizardry comes responsibility. <laughs> Living in one world. Let's take her up. Learning in another. Watch out, watch out. Watch where? Be there for the premiere of Wizards of Waverly Place. Coming this fall. On Disney Channel. <laughs> Mom, they're not just festering, they're not just rancid, they're festering and rancid, which I, for one, have never... What do you want, Maggie? Can I go see the new Flying Eater movie? You mean the incredibly violent film about a half-frog, half-robot who attacks innocent flies? That's the one. Oh, well, we saw it last weekend. <laughs> it was good. Great, so can I go? Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. But that's not fair. You let Aldrin see three movies this week, and you wouldn't let me go to those either. You let him see The Last Samurai. <laughs> and you let him see the new James Bond movie, Fly Another Day. I'll have a glass of tomato juice. Rotten, not ripe. And you let him see Lord of the Wings. <laughs> You're not old enough to see those kinds of movies. But then why does Aldrin get to go? Because Aldrin's older than you, dear. And little Maggie might get scared. <laughs> well, 
I think I'm old enough to handle the Flying Eater. As if. Flying Eater 3 is rated FM for Fly Mature. I'm not even allowed to see it without Mom and Dad coming with me. Because little Audrey might get scared. Hey, that's my bit. Back off. Oh, here's an idea, Maggie. Why not go see that nice little movie that Pupert likes so much? The Prancing Princess? Yuck. The Prancing Princess is the best. Is a Prancing Princess Prancy? You bet she's really neat. Is a Prancing Princess Fancy? For sure she can't be beat. Prancing Princess doll. Now available in pink, off pink, and ultra pink. Collect all three. I'll be a little old for the Prancing Princess. Gee, what makes you say that? Is a Prancing Princess Prancy? You bet she's really neat. Yay! Ugh. You're not old enough to see those kinds of movies. Because Aldrin's older than you. Little Maggie might get scared. Two for the last Samu fly, please. What are you doing, Maggie? I thought your parents said you couldn't see that movie. No, they said I could see it when I was older. And technically, I am older than I was when they said it. was fantastic! Hiya! Hey, look! Lord of the Wings is just starting! Come on! Fly another day? What luck! But... Wowzer, that was great! What was your favorite part, Rena? The end credits. Ha ha! I finally even the score! Aldrin and I have seen all the same movies. <laughs> uh, Aldrin, uh, what are you doing here? Marina and I just came in for some soda. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. You know, you just can't get this stuff anywhere else. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Yeah, right. I saw you two coming out of the movie, and I'm going to tell Mom and Dad. Well, I don't even care, because I proved my point. I'm old enough to handle the same movies you see, no matter what Mom and Dad think. Hmm, maybe. But I bet you can't handle the Flyinator. Yeah, well, neither can you. Don't be so sure. Because I just saw it with my buddy George. <laughs> it was no big deal, right, George? Uh, it was a lovely evening of light entertainment. How'd you get in without Mom and Dad? I didn't. Allow me to introduce you to the new Mr. and Mrs. Pesky. Hey, where's that other bucket of popcorn you promised us? Movie's over, guys. Beat it. Well, I never. Is that any way to speak to your parents? Hmm. Aha! Aldrin, now I'm the one who can rat you out. The point is, the score isn't even, because now I've seen Flyinator 3, and you haven't. Well, we'll just have to see it, too. What? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you won't last five minutes in there. It'll scare your wings off. Oh, <laughs> like you're so tough? I saw the whole movie, didn't I? Boo. <laughs> Good luck getting in without parents. Getting parents shouldn't be too hard. All I need is a little popcorn. Oh, what a marvelous day this is, watching a talking picture with my wife and two lovely daughters. Hey, we're in, buddy. You can cut the act now. I'm so excited I can hardly wait. Ah! Reno, it's just the previews.
him hang! Yeah, yeah, check it out. I'm gonna put on my 3D glasses. I don't think that's such a good idea. Ah! Boy, Rena's really missing a good one. La 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 We will never let anyone hurt you. Oh, why no, Prince and Princesses? I know. Oh, Maggie, how was the movie? Fantasious. I could see it again and again. Well, how'd you like the movie? It was great. <laughs> Why do you ask? <laughs> I don't know. You seem a little shaken up. Oh, please. Don't worry about them. I covered for you and said you were studying with Reina at the library, so we're all in the clear. My, my, my. I'm so hungry. I can eat you all alive! Ah! Maggie, dear, are you all right? I just stepped on her foot. To... Ah! That's all. Aldrin, stop stomping on your sister's foot. Yes, Mom. You better pull yourself together, Maggie, or we're going to be in big trouble. Pupert, pass the rancid gravy, please. Before I crush you like the bug that you are. Pupert, look out! <laughs> Maggie, what are you doing? Just trying to protect my little brother. From what? From your ladle? <laughs> uh... So, did you and Raina see the Prancing Princess this afternoon? <laughs> Oh, yeah, it was great. Very fancy. What was your favorite part? Uh, the part where the princess, uh, gets chased by the frog? It's me on the og frame. <laughs> uh, excuse me, but I've seen that movie like five times, and I don't remember any giant frog. Princess! Frog! You don't like that? <laughs> Pioneers! Pioneers everywhere! Maggie Pesky, did you see that movie even though we told you not to? Yes! Yes, I did! I'm sorry! I didn't mean to! It's just that I saw Aldrin there, he said he saw it, and then I couldn't take it, and then I had to see it to prove him wrong! You also saw the Flyinator? Ooh, wasn't that good? Oh, I mean, bad boy! <sighs> Selling me out like that after all I did for you. Lying about you being at the library, stomping on your foot. So I guess you're gonna ground us, huh? No, of course not. Are you serious? Even though we both saw that movie? Oh, don't be silly. Flagrantly violating your wishes without any regard for... Maggie, shut up. We just think you've suffered almost enough already. Almost enough? You know, dear, I hope that moldy salad didn't fill you up, because... That was just an appetizer! <laughs> <laughs> oh, should we go make sure she's all right? Oh, I guess. So, that movie didn't shake you up at all, huh? Oh, please. I can handle stuff like that, Dad. I'm older. Plus, I'm a guy. I'll never let the flying eel hurt you. I know, Prancing Princess. I know. Fang, such a cute little monkey. Not a monkey! Uh, make that cute little sister. A lady considers all living things precious. Ah, who you kidding? Squash, 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 squash. I squash you all! <laughs> yeah, that's more like it. Watch Fang, Dave's little sister. Dave the Barbarian, weekends at 4.30, 3.30 Central on Disney Channel. And now, Randy and Mr. Whiskers present How to Survive in the Jungle. Okay, listen up. It's all about survival of the fittest here. So to stay fit, exercise, and you'll be amazed at how far you'll go in the jungle. Oh, I know, Randy. You need to catch and eat your food in the jungle to survive, right? Eat food, not be eaten by it. Ah, yeah. Also to survive in a scary jungle <laughs> habitat, you must make friends with the native animals. Good lizard. Unless they're above you in the food chain. Oh, but the 
most important jungle survival tip is that you must always look good. Whiskers! Now, how did that get in there? Randy and Mr. Whiskers surviving the jungle. Weekends at 11 30, 10 30 Central on Disney Channel. Well, let the games begin! <laughs> Randy and Mr. Whiskers premiere Saturday at 8, 7 central on Disney Channel. Oops. Hi, I'm Annalisa from Maxwell Raven and you're watching Disney Channel. You may have seen Selena Gomez rocking out as Hannah Montana's rival. Miss Hannah, I'm taking all your fanas. Or as the heartthrob of both Zach and Cody. Now check out Selena on the set of the all-new Disney Channel original series, Wizards of Waverly Place. It's about a family of kids who are being taught wizardry by our father. Her character, Alex Russo, is the middle sister between two very different brothers. Alex doesn't take magic as seriously as her brothers because she likes to have fun with magic. Alex? Uh-huh. Your report on crystal balls, history, usage, and manufacturing? Oh, I did mine on how to use the really little ones for earrings. <laughs> Playing a teen wizard definitely has its sweet reward. The biggest mess I've probably gotten into would probably be the chocolate episode. I got to eat chocolate ice cream, chocolate cake, and I chocolate angels. I know that was definitely one of my dreams to swim in chocolate. Mm, that was fun. What a nice break from chocolate. Ooh, chocolate sounds good right now. The spell that I would most like to use is probably the rewind spell. McReary, tongue rearing. My brother, who was trying to get his first kiss and kept messing up, so I used the McReary Time Rearing spell, which rewinds time and gives him another chance. And where does all the magic happen? On the set of Wizards of Waverly Place. This is our loft, and this is where we pretty much spend all of our time. We're doing homework or hanging out with the family on the couch. This is Alex's locker. She's got the pink fuzz going on, New York, where we're living. This is the Waverly substation. Our parents actually own this shop, and this is kind of cool because all the kids work here along with our parents. Thank you so much for coming on tour with me, and I hope you had fun. So check out Selena Gomez as Alex Russo in the all-new Disney Channel original series, Wizards of Waverly Place. Premieres Friday, October 12th, right after Twitch's 2. On Disney Channel. Okay, theme music. Right, okay, this is Cusco. Funny looking guy, right? Well, that funny looking guy is actually the Emperor. Uh, well, he will be, if he can pass all his classes at the Cusco Academy. Okay. Sounds easy with Pacha and his family and the hot, hot, hottie Molina to help, right? Well, you're forgetting the evil Yzma. Once Cusco fails at school, I'll become Empress. Then <laughs> Crunk. Uh, once Cusco fails school, I will become... Uh, wait. What'll I become? Well, okay, maybe not crunk. But the hardest lesson for Cusco is to learn about himself. A new Disney Channel original series, Emperor's New School, because even those who rule have to go to school, premieres Friday at 7.30, 6.30 Central on Disney Channel. DisneyChannel.com. Play games. Vote in polls. Take quizzes. And email your favorite stars. It's all there, only at DisneyChannel.com. Five special friends with five special powers. Guardians, unite! Talk about teamwork! Show off! It's Will, Irma, Tarani, Cornelia, and Haylin. I really think you ought to check this out. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's Witch, premiering Saturday at 3.30, 2.30 Central on Disney Channel. Surfers, it's time to go behind the scenes of the latest Disney movies. <laughs> Josh Lucas stars in Disney's new movie, Glory Road. In the movie, Josh plays Don Haskins, a college basketball coach who changed the way the game is played. I got to find out the inside scoop on the film when I hung out courtside with Josh. Disney and Jerry Bruckheimer's new film, Glory Road, tells the true story of coach Don Haskins, a small-town college basketball coach with a big-time dream of winning the national championship. 
I'd like to talk to you about plans. Thanks for no thanks. I see skill. I see quick. I can help you make your dream come true faster, and a twist will take your socks off. I got to visit the set where I talk with the film's producer, Jerry Bruckheimer. What do you like the most about working on this movie? I think certain people should be remembered in history for what they accomplished and what they did to change history. And Don Haskins changed history in a very positive way. To find out more about Coach Haskins, I met up with Josh Lucas. What did you do to prepare for this role? Um, well, I learned everything I could about basketball. <laughs> I didn't really know much. Get it down. There you go. I actually gained 35 pounds, so I spent a lot of time eating a lot of pizza. <laughs> So do you think you have to be a fan of basketball to like this movie? No, I don't, actually, because there's so many other pieces of the story that make it so terrific. Right now, it's not about talent. It's about heart. They're not going to give us anything. So you got to go out there, and you got to take it. Josh Lucas plays real-life coach Don Haskins in Glory Road, now playing Sunday on Disney Channel. Hello? It's Woody yes. and Buzz. A crash landed on a strange planet. Look out! In the greatest buddy movie ever. You idiot, you're a toy! You are a sad, strange little man. If you see them as toys... Buzz, will you get up here and give me a hand? Go beyond the plastic. To infinity and beyond! You're mocking me, aren't you? Toy Story, Sunday at 8, 7 Central on Disney Channel. Weekdays, the bad guys are really bad, and the good guys are really hungry. Corn dogs. The Naco. You want some? I'm starving. Yeah, I'm hungry. Ron, turn down the drama and eat. Fighting to save the world and fighting a stomach ache. I come for the games, but I stay for the burnt pizza smell. Weekdays at 5 4 Central, it's time to eat and time for Kim Possible to save the world. Kim Possible, weekdays at 5 4 Central on Disney Channel. Creativity is the key to making things happen. Kick your creativity into gear. When in doubt, turn it inside out. Start with the chair, sit in it this way, then that. If you're left-handed, right with your right. Jump down, then up. Look where you wouldn't. Close your eyes and paint a picture. Think that thought that's brand new. Think that thought that's inside of you. You, me, and Disney Channel. Imagine you're that. Hawaii, a great place for a family vacation. Except if you're Stitch and your 625 cousins are on the loose. Cousin? Cousin. Aloha, cousin. Stitch wants to reunite his family, and nothing's gonna stop him. That's gotta be it. Go get him. Uh, except maybe a quick snack. Watch Stitch follow his dream on Lilo and Stitch the series. Weekdays at 2.30, 1.30 Central on Disney Channel. If you want to make a friend, you need to be a friend. Hey, check this kid out! Lots of kids think learning about history might be boring, but Ben has a different take. Ben's interest in interviewing people started when he began asking his great-grandparents questions. Ben says he can really relate to their stories, and he gets to learn about history from the people who were actually there. He was so inspired, he began talking with other senior citizens in his community. Listen to this. When you actually interview someone, they can tell you what it was like going through the Great Depression, or going through World War II, or when we went to the moon. And it really takes on a different perspective of history when you get it from someone who actually lived through it. That sounds really cool. It's like the ultimate history book. Yeah. And by writing down the interview, Ben creates a record of that person's life so that their stories can be passed down for many generations to come. Now that's a great story, Ben. Once upon a time, an ordinary girl discovered she was a princess. Oh no! Just in case, I'm not enough of a freak. Let's add a tiara! Now, Mia will learn to dress, dance, and dine like a princess. But it could take a while. I don't want to run my own country. It would give the other kids license to mock me for the rest of my life. Sometimes becoming a princess can be a royal drag. <laughs> don't miss The Princess Diaries, tomorrow at 8, 7 Central on Disney Channel. Let's get back to Monsters, Inc. right here on Disney Channel. Coming up next, right here on Disney Channel. Hi, I'm Annalisa from Not So Raven, and you're watching Disney Channel.